In this video, we're gonna start talking about how you can take control of the quality of your light. These videos are organized as a playlist so that you can easily navigate learning off-camera flash. The playlist and all video topics are linked in the description below if you want to navigate to a different part. By now, you've probably heard someone talk about an image that has very soft light, or maybe you've seen another that has very harsh lighting. These are phrases that are used to reference the quality of light. Soft light means that light transitions from bright to dark in a very gradual fashion. Hard light means the light transitions from bright to dark very quickly. These are the two most common ways of describing a quality of light, and both of these can be controlled by the use of light modifiers. The larger the light source relative to the subject, the softer the light will be. If you only remember one single thing from this series, let this be it. So I'm gonna repeat it. The larger the light source relative to the subject, the softer the light will be. Also, the closer the light source is to a subject, the more rapidly the light will fall off or transition from bright to dark. So the first aspect in controlling the quality of light is the size of a light modifier. A speed light is a very small light source and will yield a very harsh or hard light result. A seven foot umbrella, however, is a very large light source and will yield a really soft result. But it's not strictly about the light modifier's size. Remember, it's all about the size relative to the subject, so we have to consider the proximity of the light modifier to the subject. A large light source will produce soft light when it is close to the subject. However, it's capable of producing hard light when it is used really far away. All right, so here we're gonna show you the difference between a small light source, small-ish, it's a 28-inch softbox, and then we're gonna go up to a much larger softbox, which is a 60-inch softbox, just so you can see the difference. Again, silly close. All right, so here you can see that we have the softbox. This is the 16 inch softbox, extremely close to our subject, so we are going to get extremely soft light. Now with the same softbox, we're gonna pull it away quite a bit. So you can see when it's extremely close, we get softer light on our subject as well as a darker background because the light falls off faster. That means the light hits the subject, but the difference to the background is significantly darker. Whereas when we pull it back farther, the light is going to fall off slower, which means our background is now gonna be more evenly exposed with our subject. The other big difference is the characteristics of light, the quality of light. It is a much softer, it is a much more gradual transition when the light is closer to our subject, and it is a much more rapid transition when the light is further away. Real quick, I'm gonna take this light modifier off and we're gonna do this with no light modifier so you can see what happens when we use a small, really small light source this far away. So now we've got the bare bulb, no modifier at all. We're gonna do one more shot. I'm not gonna make any change to the power. Now you can see we have much harder shadows when we go down to the bare bulb, which is about as small of a light source as you can get. If you're confused by this, just think of the sun. The sun is a massive light source. It is the largest light source that is available to anybody, but it's also 93 million miles away, which means that relative to a subject, relative to anybody here on earth, it is a very small light source and will produce very hard results, at least if it's not diffused by clouds. Thanks for watching guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. I really hope that you learned something new about flash photography. I suggest going and practicing the concepts that you just learned, but if you feel that you've already got a good grasp on it, then go ahead and proceed to the next video, which you can find in the end screen or in the description below. If you're enjoying my channel and you wanna see more, then please hit that subscribe button and click the bell if you'd like notifications for when I post new videos. Until next time, keep on shooting.